How y'all doing today? I'm Hoyt. This is Chuck Bush, Jeffrey Horner. And we're here talking today with the guys from VRS Media and about all kinds of things. And we miss Roland today. Roland, um, Roland, too bad Roland, Roland couldn't yep. be here. But anyway, <laughs> how's it going, guy? Man, it's going awesome. It is awesome. It's a great day. Glad to be here with, with you guys, especially my, my buddy over there, Jeffrey. Yeah, yeah. It's good. I appreciate, appreciate you uh, inviting us in. Absolutely. I appreciate y'all coming. I really do. I really do. What, uh, what projects y'all got going on in VRS right now? Or anything upcoming that sticks out? Or? Actually, I'm going to turn that over to Chuck because we got some exciting stuff that's going on for oh, end of this year and uh, 2020. My goodness, yes. Well, the, the big thing that we want to tell you guys about is we're right now until October the 4th running a short subject screenplay competition. Oh, wow. So that uh, people can, can then they go to our website, vrsmedia.com. Mm-hmm. Right it's there. actually vrsmediagroup.com. I'm sorry, media group. I think I'm, I'm bad. I'm, I always cut it short. I always say media. VRSmediagroup.com. Right it's right probably there. right here. We'll I know that's what I'm right here yeah. for. Yeah. <laughs> but it's uh, right there on the page. There's a link. Boom, when you open it up, and it takes you right to, to where to submit your script, all the rules and everything. And the grand prize is we are going to produce the winning screenplay. Oh, yeah. wow. That is the grand prize. Add no cost to the screenwriter. Oh, right. okay. Awesome. So uh, that's, that's what we're really, really excited about. And... Since, since Jeffrey let the cat out of the bag already, in 2020, VRS Media Group will be hosting a family film festival yeah. Sweet. in Baton Rouge. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And we got, I, we got a few people involved with the show that have been writing scripts and stuff. We've talked about doing a, a Louisiana, music, um, Louisiana Entertainment Experience. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's some short film clips and stuff putting on a channel you know for people to watch and little uh it's a really sitcom big, it, episode it, it, it's a really things. big thing right now yeah so that's that's very smart of you guys it's a really big thing a lot of people look the the short films are now sort of becoming the darlings of things like yeah. netflix and yeah. things like that they're really promoting those so that's well, awesome that's perfect you know we're gonna uh, i'm gonna put those guys on it and and get them with you guys of course you guys are coming out to film uh jerry guillory on october 4th and 5th yeah. at the uh Essence is it essence? Es- essence. Uh, I don't say it right. So I know. Is that or is it Isan or Isan, Essence? Isan, yeah. Well, I'll put that in the, yeah, in the show. Be, but they're graphic, coming out. Graphic here. Yeah, right there. <laughs> to help film it. <laughs> and uh, Jerry does a fantastic show. Jerry couldn't be here today. Uh, he had, had a little daughter had an accident. She's fine. The car's fine. But he's, he, he's under heavy sedation. Yes, yes. But uh, it's a great show if y'all can come out October 4th and 5th and check that out. VRS will be there filming it. Uh, it's going to be pitched to some media outlets and, and whatnot. But it, it's a, a great uh, time. My assistant's making a face at me because of <laughs> something I said. Stop it. Yeah. Stop it. But anyway, they're, they're going to come out. Y'all come out and hang out with us and check yeah. it out. But that's, Please. That's great. So how did you guys get into all of this media shenanigans? <laughs> Wow, all the media shenanigans. Mm-hmm. Well, I, you know, VRS Media Group's been open for 33 years, and for 33 years we've been doing media shenanigans yeah. uh, in one form or another. And I guess in the last five years, Jeffrey and, and Amy together decided to take the company in a little bit different direction, more toward uh, narrative type type work. And so that's, that's kind of how we got it. And they said, hey, Chuck, why don't you come help? I'm like, absolutely. Sounds like a great, the great people to work with and yeah. happy to be a part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we've been uh, we've been doing production for 33 years and uh, kind of been around the block. And we wanted to change our, our our focus to be more storytellers, which we were before. But now we've we become masters at telling your story. Yeah, and that's what we we try to to portray yeah. is that you know if you have whatever your service is, whatever you're doing like this right here. We know how, we have the, the gifts and the experience to be able to tell your story through the medium of video. Yeah. And tell it in a way that gets authenticity. That really, who you are, we know how to do that. Mm-hmm. We know how to talk to Hoyt and say, okay, what is this? Yeah. And know how to make it where it looks good, the caliber's up here, and we get to know who you are. And that's what we do. And that's why we've been around for 33 years. Y'all have done some fantastic stuff, I tell you. Especially yeah. some of the latest drone work and stuff that y'all yeah. have done. Thanks. Thanks. Earlier uh, interviews we've had with uh, Dwayne Rowland. <laughs> uh, Draw production manager, Dwayne. Shout out to you, buddy. 
He's uh, awesome. He's done a fantastic job with, with that stuff, man. And I've known Dwayne for years. We grew up together, you know, around the Ascension Parish. And you admit it. Yeah, I know. It's pretty good. Every yeah. now and then, every now and then I admit it. He's a good guy, though. I like Dwayne. <laughs> um, but, yeah, you do do a fantastic job. And that's one reason we contacted you all for the show with Jared, mm -hmm. uh, to get that all recorded properly. Thank you. Uh, now, I know you guys have just didn't stumble into it. How, how did you really come into doing what you do or into media? And oh, into, into production and yes. doing video and stuff like that. Well, in 1986, I did my first wedding. And I was actually a general manager. And y'all had actually, over in Lafayette here, uh, y'all had a, a, a branch called New Generation. I don't mm -hmm. know if you remember New Generation. Mm -hmm. uh, you're probably too young. So, but in, in the 80s, 70s and 80s, they were the number one electronics store yeah. in, in the area, in Louisiana. Yeah. And uh, I was an area manager. I, I, uh, I had the video, audio, I ran all those departments and all the people. And I picked up a video camera and said, let me try this. So I shot my first wedding in 1986 for 75 bucks. And I said, uh-oh, I'm hooked. Good. 33 years later, oh, man. 33 years later, <laughs> but in 2015, uh, as Chuck had said, uh, 2015, we were, I, I probably, in my company plus me, probably did 3,500 to 4,000 weddings. And we just wanted to go a different way. I love doing weddings. I love the, 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 the whole, that whole industry. But we wanted to, we wanted to step in and do, do some more feature film, more storytelling. Oh, excuse me. Uh, and, that's how we got into more production through industry, through promotion, through film, yeah. and uh, bringing Chuck on. And Dwayne's been with me seven years now. And uh, so that's how VRS was established. Mm -hmm. And doing big projects like uh, at the River Center, dance reviews, uh, promotion for art. To promote, you know, I'm real big in the arts yeah, also. Yeah. Renee Chatelaine, shout out to Renee. Mm -hmm. Uh, she's, uh, I, I've known her for probably as long, long as I've been doing this. And, uh, we just, I always love the, being part of the arts and, uh, doing that, but we're just changing our model and doing more, doing more storytelling. That's what well, we're stretching, doing. stretching. Uh, we're having mm -hmm. to stretch our legs. I'm ready. I'm stretching my legs a little bit, bringing mm -hmm. Chuck on, letting him stretch his legs mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, the talent that he has and, and Dwayne and Amy. Uh, we're, we're a team here and we just have all our talents and bringing this to the table uh, I'd match it up against uh, anybody yeah. as far as in this industry and, yeah. and we love this industry I love it as much today uh -huh. and I know Chuck can say the same thing as much as when he started is I love it as much today as I did then yeah. 33 years ago that's awesome you know, through the technology yeah you know the big 18 <laughs> 20 pound cameras yeah. and the, 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 the non-linear uh, you people don't probably, you 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 youngins probably don't understand what non-linear means oh, millennials because you've been on the idea. on the computer doing your videos. Uh, we it. had tapes and had to cut tapes and splice tapes, actual physical tapes. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so we we've, we've been around for a while. Yeah. Now the elephant in the room, Mr. Fandango. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Look at me! Why are you looking at me? It's the elephant in the room. I'm glad you looked at me. Okay, that would have been that would have been yeah. The elephant in the room. <laughs> I'm pretty well, we kind of know how you came into yeah. it, yeah. you know. Oh gosh! I, so I mean, well, first of all, let's we'll get into your story. But how was it like working with Kevin Costner? Well, you know, I got to tell you, working with Kevin Costner it, it, when I did my first film, which was Fandango, I, I, I had nothing com to compare it to. Uh, looking back now, I can say that uh, Kevin. And, and Judd and, and everybody else, but Kevin was a consummate professional. It's something he was passionate about. It's something he had wanted to do all of his life. And it's not until I got to know him uh, beyond that that I understand, uh, began to understand what kind of guy he really was. Because my friend from Fandango has been my friend ever since. I mean, yeah. uh, you know, and we, we talk a couple times a year. And uh, just a nice guy, generally, genuinely a very nice nice person uh, I've, I've not only seen him up close working with him on film but I've also spent time visiting him on sets uh -huh. and it's like rolling out the red carpet just just all the people around him are dialed into how 
uh, kind hearted and giving he is. And now you know he plays music. Mm -hmm. He's got his own band, Kevin Costner's Modern West. Yeah. And that is a, that's another thing altogether. And I, I watch how he deals with the fans. Um, I was with him when he shot uh, parts of Tin Cup. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot, I don't, I don't know if you remember, there's a lot of turmoil going on. Yeah. Because you know he had done Waterworld and there's a big hullabaloo about that. And still, on that set with all the media buzz and everything that was happening around him, he was talking to people that were in the galley, watching the golf games, and just being really, just a genuine, genuinely nice person. Yeah. And I, I love the guy. I love the guy. He's been very good to me. He's been my good friend. And he's had some great movies. Uh, yeah, he's, he's had a little bit of a career, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, little has bit. a couple of those little golden statues, you know. <laughs> yeah, who cares about well, that? I know. Just yeah, just <laughs> yeah, in fact, I kind of worried when he had what made into a chain. It was kind of strange. <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, you should have took a couple off his mantle when you were home, yeah, melting them down and bought some equipment with it. There you, know, there you go. There you go. Well, you know, interesting enough, he had, you know, I've had the occasion and the fortune to be in his office a few times, and he does have one of the Oscars in the office, and then the other one's at home. Yeah. So he's got he's got the matching set from uh, from Dances with Wolves, and of course he won a People's Choice Award a couple of years ago for yeah. Hatfields and McCoys, and so.